Well, Valley Mom takes her daughter in for some dental work, but as Three On Your Side's Gary Harper says, she had no idea that dental work was going to turn out like it did. Gary? Yeah, at first she actually thought a mistake of some sort had been made. As a result, she tried to get some answers. When she didn't, she contacted Three On Your Side, and after we got involved, this is what we were able to find out. Go back to Bobby. Alicia White has two beautiful and healthy children. They're Zach and his little sister, Savannah. They're my everything. They're my entire world. But on a recent trip to the dentist, Alicia discovered that little Savannah had four cavities. So Alicia allowed the dentist to fill them. They took her back. I was able to go back with her when they sedated her. And then after she was sedated, they had me go wait back out in the waiting room. Alicia brought her groggy daughter home when the procedure was done and let her take a nap. However, when Savannah woke up and Alicia looked in her mouth, this is what she saw. Every single tooth, top and bottom, capped with stainless steel crowns. I didn't expect for her whole mouth to be silver. We went in to get a couple cavities done and she came back with her entire mouth filled with silver. Alicia says not only was she and her husband mortified, but so was four-year-old Savannah. On a daily basis, she tells me, Mommy, I don't like my teeth. I don't like my teeth. And it's hard to hear every single day. Alicia wanted to know if a mouthful of these is normal for a child. So you're four years old? So three on your side consulted Dr. Richard Chait, who's been in dentistry for more than 30 years. Dr. Chait is the former president of the Arizona Academy of Pediatric Dentistry and was responsible for writing guidelines and policies for pediatric dentists across the nation. He's never met Savannah, but agreed to look at some of the photographs we provided. I did say wow, because she, she did have a, a lot of silver caps on her teeth. Dr. Chait claims that although it looks bizarre, all of those caps were necessary to fill Savannah's cavities and to save other teeth that were probably deteriorating. This is a child who's obviously very high risk for decay. Dr. Chait went on to say that some dentists probably would have gone a step further by putting on white veneers to cover a lot of those silver caps. Even if the patient couldn't afford it, Dr. Chait says a lot of dentists would have done it free of charge because children are sensitive about how they feel and look. And that's exactly what happened to Savannah. Another dentist who actually saw Savannah's teeth offered to put on those white veneers free of charge. Alicia says her daughter looks a lot better, but says it's been a learning experience. I just want people to be aware of what happened and what's going on out there. Well, Dr. Chait says two things apparently happened here. First, he says there needed to be a lot better communication. Either the dentist could have done a much better job explaining what kind of procedure was going to take place, or maybe Alicia could have asked a few more questions so they were on the same page. Dr. Chait also says this is a good reminder to take your child to the dentist as early as one or even two years old, so proper hygiene is discussed at an early age with moms and dads, and, and those stainless steel crowns, those silver caps, can be avoided altogether down the road. I'm Gary Harper, 3 on your side.